We've made it to our Miami hotel. Dance the night away! Now we're in our pajamas. Not the night that I expected to have. Because I just do not feel good and I do not want to feel this way for the next two days. You uh, may have guessed that we did not make it to the red party last night. Um, took the Tums, was feeling okay, stood up, was not feeling okay. Uh, felt really nauseous and we just decided that like we were not feeling good enough to be around people. They actually moved the Scarlet party from the pool deck to inside. And the pajama party was just very crowded, very chaotic, hot. And we were like, I just don't know if we're going to be able to go to this. They also were like lining up from the room entrance, like halfway down the boat. And I just didn't want to go wait in a line. I didn't want to go in a really crowded room feeling the way that I did. And so we decided we weren't going to go and then Kevin threw up again. So... <laughs> We did not make it to the red party, so today it has been kind of cloudy and gross this morning. Uh, it's another sailing day, so it's just a day to be on the boat and to relax a little bit. We don't have any plans until like 10 p.m. tonight, so we can do whatever we want with our day. So because it's been kind of cloudy and gross, we just ordered some food to the room. We're gonna have a little brunch in bed. We've been doing some work, I've been doing some editing. And then hopefully in a little bit, the sun will come out and we can go. I had some uh, photos I wanted to shoot for a swimsuit brand that I'm working with. I would like to just like hang out by the pool and read and relax again, but if we're just hanging out inside the room, that would be okay. There's hot tubs also all over. And I feel like we also could just like go in hot tub. I haven't been outside yet. Is it warm outside today? Yeah, it's really warm. It's just windy because we're in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. It was so choppy last night. It still is a little bit rough, but like... I just feel like the whole time you could like feel the boat going back and forth and that was not helping my nausea. I don't think that I that what we're dealing with is motion sickness, but the moving of the boat does not help what I feel like is sloshing around in my stomach. So that's not great, but it is what it is. I'll show you the weather outside. So we've got a little bit of sun, blue skies peeking out here, but it's mostly been these big gray clouds. You can kind of see out in the distance. It was way more like hazy, but you can tell the water is pretty choppy today. It feels pretty windy. A lot more waves than it was the other day, so we're flopping around a lot. So our food just arrived and it looks so good. So we've got this like French toast situation and then we got scrambled eggs, bacon, potatoes. That's like a tomato of some sort. It looks real good and all of this is also included in our food price. We just had to pay like a delivery fee to have somebody come and bring it to our room, which feels kind of silly, but to not have to leave the room right now, the $7 was worth it to me. So we also got like two Diet Cokes, two Coke cans, and we got two ginger ales just in case we need that later. So we're gonna eat this. I'm gonna finish up editing my video that's gonna go up. And then the, since the sun is peeking out, maybe we will have luck and we can go to the pool in a bit. <laughs> a ton today and it was cloudy for most of the day but I got most of the work done that I wanted to we did a little food in bed I didn't eat a lot of it honestly it just wasn't calling to me once I, I ate some of the French toast and then I just could not make myself eat the eggs so we went up to the pool deck it was pretty cloudy but we laid out I got to read some of my book we ate some snacks 
So I am feeling a lot better today, honestly. I drank a little bit of ginger ale and I feel like it just like healed me right up. But like I said, I have not eaten a lot today. So the true test will be dinner. We're hoping to go to the steakhouse tonight. We'll see if we can get in. We don't have a reservation for tonight or tomorrow night. So we just have to kind of go with the flow, see where we can get in. And then we have a like dinner dancey show kind of thing that we're going to. And then there's another like dance party thing tonight. We might try and take some pictures in our outfits because they are cool. We'll see how it goes. But tonight is just a very go with the flow kind of night. So this is the outfit that I'm wearing tonight. I got this dress at Target. I think it's really cool just with this like lace outline here. Just got my hair slicked back in a bun, my little black sandals, gonna wear my black bag again. Just a cute little outfit for steakhouse dancing. And Kevin looks cool too, come here Kev. He's got on his little vest, linen pants, brown hat to match my dress. We are looking good. Good morning, or I guess more afternoon at this point. Uh, it's like noon-ish. We slept in today. We are in Bimini Bahamas. We're going to the beach club that is owned by Virgin today. So no rush to get off the boat. We just are taking it slow. So last night did not go how we expected it to. Good news, did not get sick. So I think we might have finally passed through the food poisoning section of the trip but we were going to try to go to the steakhouse and we got there and like we said we didn't have a reservation and so we got on the wait list and she was like i don't know if you're getting in here honestly so we're like okay good to know so we went down to the mexican restaurant that we tried to go to the other night and we did get in there so we got to eat the mexican food it was really really good and then went to see a little show and went to try to go to the dance uh, club thing but uh, there was like 20 people there we were watching from above for a while it felt like I was watching the Sims it just was not really the vibe so we just came back we watched a little bit of Taylor Fritz play Novak Djokovic in the Australian Open Taylor Fritz lost unfortunately but honestly who is really shocked and then we went to bed um, now we are about to go to the beach club the people are cleaning our balcony, so I keep seeing people walk back and forth outside and it's making me a little bit uncomfortable, but look how beautiful it is. The most gorgeous blue waters. It's nice and sunny today. It seemed pretty cloudy earlier, but now it seems like the clouds are kind of going to blow over. So let's go to the beach club. And my favorite part about the beach club is that the food is so good it was my favorite place that we ate last year there's like really just good like caribbean food rum cake that was really really good this really good like watermelon salad so i'm hoping they have all of those again so today i am wearing my green dress that i showed you guys in the last vlog that i got from target just this cute little cover-up and then i've got my cream dipping daisies swimsuit underneath there got these green sunglasses to match my cute little white chunky sandals. So feeling cute and ready to beach club.
to be quite a successful day, but it did not appear it was going to be that way when we first got out there. So we went to the beach club and we're like walking around hoping to get a seat next to the pool and like all of the seats by the pool are filled. All of the beach chairs down by the beach were like full and we were like, we don't know what we're gonna do because there are not seats for us. And I really didn't wanna like lay on a towel in the sand kind of thing. I really just wanted to hang out by the pool today since we did more beachy things um, two days ago. But we were like, well, we'll just go eat lunch at the beach club and then maybe by then there'll be some seats that have opened up. And so we went and ate, we saw a cat, which was so exciting. We are a friend of cats and we find cats everywhere we go. So liked to find the cat. And then when we were done eating, we went and there were just like, the perfect two chairs, just like sitting poolside, nobody in them. So we are so lucky everything works out for us. And then we, so we hung out at the pool for a while, came back, got ready. And we were like, we don't know what we're gonna do for lunch or for dinner. I was like, well, we could try and see if we can get into the steakhouse since that's like the last place that we haven't really eaten. And so I sent Kevin down to like get on the wait list while I finished getting ready. And the lady was like, it's our busiest night, you're not getting in here. So we were like, well, what are we gonna do instead? And Kevin was looking on the activities list and the dinner show that has been sold out, there were just like magically two seats available for us to uh, snag, so we snagged those. We're on our way to that now. I've never been to this dinner show, so I'm excited to see that. And then after that, we have another show that we're going to see. It's a dance party something or rather. Not party where we're doing it, but it's like a dancing show. Haven't seen that either. So it will be a night of new experiences and then there's like a circus disco tonight. We'll see how that goes. Little final dance party and then it'll be time to pack up and get going. So before we go, I'll show you my outfit. So I got, this is a two piece set that I got from Abercrombie, honestly, a couple years ago, I think at this point, maybe last Christmas-ish time, I really don't remember, but I've had it for a while and haven't really worn it, so I thought it was a cute little thing, and then I've got my little brown shoes with the white little flowers on them that I love, and then I'm taking this little, like, uh, straw woven bag, so makes it a little bit more of a beachy cute fit for our last night. The show was really cool, honestly. So they started out, it was like a variety show kind of thing. They had a guy who was like the host, wasn't that funny. They had a band that was singing, they were good. And then they had these like little dancers that danced around, also good. But then the acts came out, that was cool. So they started off with like a girl who was doing like basically like balancing yoga poses on these like stilt things, cool. Uh, then they had the girl, she was dangling from her bun. Oh, I forgot The about aerial her. bun girl, yeah, interesting for sure. They had this girl who balanced umbrellas on her toes. That was interesting. I really think I could do that one. <laughs> <laughs> like if I laid in bed and played with an umbrella for long enough, I could balance them on my toes. Yeah. Uh, there was a sword swallower. Nope. Hated it. <laughs> I she had a, a glow in the dark sword and you could see it down her ass. Yeah, it nope. made me feel very uncomfortable. Did not like that one bit. And then there was... Oh, the roller skaters. Oh yeah, the roller skating girls. We got a, a video of that because it was so cool. They were definitely my favorite. So the food was not enough. So it was good, but it was not enough. So we're gonna go get some snacks and then we get to go to our second show of the night. Sing, sing. If you're in the way, move. If you can't see something, stand 
I don't have a marker. Now let's dance together. I'm exhausted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it was fun. The dance party show thing. So cool. It was honestly my favorite show, I think. It yeah. was just so fun. Like, they were all performing and stuff, but, like, the stage moved around. It felt really interactive. Like, they really interacted with you. The dancers, like, came into the audience. We were standing. It wasn't, like, a show where we were sitting. So, like, we were definitely like dancing there was a part where they were like okay now you're gonna dance with us and we did like the wobble and the electric slide and the macarena and the hokey pokey and it was really fun so I really liked that and then we went to circus night and they did some of the circusy things that we saw in the dual reality show and then they just played like disco music and it was fine the DJ was a uh, playing the disco songs for too long. I'm not trying yeah. to tell him how to do his job, but generally I feel like when you're like DJing, you play like first verse, first chorus, and then like remix it up and move on. But I forgot about this. The cat was the star of the dance party show. He told us all of our instructions, and at one point they like had like these confetti cannons shoot off and they opened this pinata and things were falling from the ceiling and then all of a sudden this girl just turned around and said here you go and I said <laughs> yes and I immediately put it in my bag I think it's a sticker oh yeah it is yeah. I don't know where I'm putting it but it says I'm a cat and he was the star of my he show was. we've done it we've cruised our cruise Tomorrow we will get off the boat. I think our time is like 10 a.m. to get off the boat. So we'll get off the boat, go through fit customs. We have one more day in a Miami hotel and then we fly home to our cats. Hello. Hooray. They didn't have banana bread, but they had the strawberry danish and a cinnamon roll. <gasps> cinnamon roll? Yep. Cool. So we got off the boat. It took forever. So many people were trying to get off the boat and we had to like schedule a time to get off the boat. And so I'm not sure why there were that many people trying to get off when we were trying to get off, but going through customs was really, really fast. So it was fine. Now we're at our hotel for the day. We're gonna eat some lunch at the hotel restaurant. We got two free drinks. We're gonna get some free drinks. We have uh, like the hotel has like a beach area so we can go to a pool so we're just gonna be hanging out until our room is ready okay well uh, we ate lunch we had to sit on the couches for like an hour and a half she told us that as soon as we were done eating we should be able to get in the room but that didn't happen but that's okay it's still relatively sunny outside I see blue skies so let me give you a little look at our room so you come in nice king bed little sitting area here closet over here this really beautiful array of artwork I love the like wallpaper really cute and then in here it's just a nice little bathroom, nice shower. 
We think that maybe she gave us a little bit of an upgrade, but we're not complaining. So now we're gonna get into swimsuits, maybe hang out at the pool, maybe go down to the beach. I'm not really sure, but our last chill day in Miami. Great last day in Miami, got to take a little nap, got to eat some good snacks, have some drinks. Now we are gonna go into Miami city proper. Might go look around a little mall a little bit. We might go see a movie, get some food. Not really sure what we're gonna do with our last night. Just kill some time before it's time to go to bed and go to the airport tomorrow, I guess. So we just got back from the movie and I was like, ah, oh, I want to put on the robe and I like put on my little robe It's an orange little robe so I could pack all my other stuff on and Kevin was like, oh, I want to pack I want to put the robe on too and then we can match <laughs> My robe is small <laughs> Why does this robe look like that? I just want to switch to see what it looks like if we switch <laughs> I also don't like this better because no, the arms are short still. Oh, now I'm just wearing like a baseball shirt. They're short and it's short, but I like that one better. Do you want to switch back? <laughs> yeah, but it just was so funny to see you in a little short robe. Well, I'm going to put it on again. <laughs> if all goes smoothly, we have reached the end of our trip. The movie was so cute. We saw Anyone But You with Sydney Sweeney and Glenn Powell. What's his last name? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, very cheesy, very rom com -y, but cute. A good way to just have a little chill, low-key night. We went to one of those theaters that you can eat dinner like while you watch the movie. We used to go to those all the time when we lived in Atlanta and now we don't really have those around us anymore so that was really fun. Took a shower, packed up our stuff and now we can just sleep and then we'll take an Uber to the airport and then fly out. I think our flight's at like 11.30 or so and we get back around 3 so Hopefully we have no problems. So thank you so much for watching our little cruise vacation. I hope you enjoyed uh, coming along with us and experience a Virgin Voyages cruise. If you have not already, make sure to like this video if you did. Subscribe to my page and turn on post notifications so that you are notified whenever a new post is going up. And I guess I will see you next week. <laughs>